hey guys how are you doing my name is spirit Wenda. welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to look at online jobs specifically the remote working job these are kind of jobs where companies just give people to work from uh, different places not necessarily from the on-site like not from the offices but they can work from home okay so there are critical things that you need to understand because most people think that this remote jobs they are just available there are things that people are not saying when they are uh, presenting remote jobs to uh to people they are not stating the things that they need to understand so it's not necessarily just because you know how to use computer you are not all not all tasks not all hey guys how are you doing i'm hoping you're doing fine so today let's have a look at online jobs just like the on-site jobs which are conducted in the offices online jobs which are done remotely from various places they also have specification and they have job uh, they have job requirements so there are different categories of online jobs that can be worked from different places so different people with different experiences and skills are needed to perform different jobs however if you're that kind of person if you're that person who has that skill what do you need to know what do you need to do before going ahead to apply or before going ahead and accepting and remote jobs these are five factors that you need to consider before accepting an online job however before we continue with these factors kindly if this kind of content is your cup of tea don't forget to give me that that subscription it's absolutely free also give me a thumbs up to help with growing my algorithm and help the content to be recommended to other people if you are returning subscriber thank you very much continue feeling at home factor number one check in with yourself make sure that you have the necessary skills make sure that you have the necessary uh, knowledge that you need for the specific job so you cannot just go ahead and apply for a job that you know that you cannot perform you need to make sure that you you're completely sure that this job is within your knowledge it's within your abilities okay here are some of the questions that you need to know to ask yourself while still understanding if you're fit or not fit for this job or if the job is fit for you uh, or if the job is in favor of you okay so what are the pros and cons of working remotely because some people just get into jobs into online jobs without considering the pros and cons and the later they come up they come regretting okay so you need to to consider the pros and cons because with the online things there are so many scammers there are things that are there are so many scammers who can just get away with anything sometimes okay so you need to ask yourself what are the pros and cons of working remotely what remote work skills are needed this is why you evaluate yourself so what this job what does it need do i have these skills do i have them if you have them you can go ahead and apply for the job if you do not if you do you do have a different thing but it's closer to it you can see can you acquire them are the, are the skills easily acquired because sometimes we find that these skills can easily be acquired by taking just a simple course okay so you ask yourself do you have those skills what are the expenses there are some remote job that requires you to travel around do you have the money do you have the necessary uh, resources to help you move around do you are you able to cater for the expenses the remote task requires traveling what are my budget budget what is my budget for the travel expense that's the same that i was saying in case it requires traveling you need to get to see if it caters your budget caters don't don't overspend on a job okay number two conduct a market research you have because there are several companies that offer these remote jobs you have to ensure due diligence to establish either this company is a legit and it's not out there to scam you because there are companies that are out there to scam okay make sure that you establish that their website is legit the company is legit it has been there it has been doing those remote jobs yeah do not just fall into trap of scammers okay 
Number three, set a budget. So since you know the kind of job you're going to do, since you know the requirement, set the budget. Does the, your budget fall under, does this job uh, expenses fall under your budget or does it go beyond? Can you add, can you, uh, can you cater, can you be able to cater for those expenses? Does your budget cater for those expenses? You have to ask yourself those questions because sometimes if you go beyond your budget, you might find yourself uh, going losses instead of making benefits or gaining profits, okay? So after, after setting your budget, make sure you double check the location. So about the location, the main reason for location is because there are several factors that these remote companies seem to consider before they give people jobs. Since it's remote, sometimes people tend to assume that you can work from anywhere, but that is not the case. That's why when you're applying these remote jobs, they tend to ask you the country. They tend to ask you the country so that they can know the time zone, they can know the, the location, they can know if it favors them or not, okay? So some of the reasons that you need to ensure that you look at your location I look at your location is because companies consider specific location because of legal and tax requirement. There are laws and regulations that tend to restrict employees to work in specific locations. Okay, so companies will tend to uh, to be willing to work in locations with lower or even no restrictions for their employees. Okay, number two, it's time zone. Virtual companies may want their staff to co collaborate and work together in real time. Therefore, this may require them to live in the overlapping time zone to ensure they can synchronize their communication, okay? So they just live in a specific time zones that are easy for them to collaborate, all right? So factor number three, it's client. There are companies that consider or feel more comfortable when their employees live within their client's zone. So if a company, if an American company has its clients maybe in Asia, they want their employees to be located in Asia and not to come from maybe Africa and other South America, like such such like things, okay? So they want their clients to be closer to their employees. Uh, factor number four, it's license and certification. License and certification. Some rules, re some rules requires state-issued license and certification for employees. So if there are specific license and certification that are needed, the company wants to be aware. So if they are aware, this specific region or this specific uh, country uh, they need this specific certification or license, the company want to be aware. And of course, as usual, most companies would wish to stay in a place where there are fewer regulations, okay? But if need be, they will just be able to offer those certification and licenses. Factor number five of what you need to do before accepting or applying for a remote job is to communicate your skills update to your CV. In your CV, you need to uh, to compile it well. Indicate if you have previously worked in remote area, in remote jobs, and you even indicate the kind of job, the responsibilities, and the location that you are working in, okay? Also, it is important to include a technology uh, technology section in the resume where you indicate that your compatibility and expertise in using uh, in using remote tools such as Google Suite, Zoom, Trello, and others. Okay, so your competence and experience is what will sell you to the customers. So. If you're planning to apply a job remotely, kindly, I'm hoping that you'll follow these guides and, and maybe they'll help you to prepare better and even get that job. Success in your hunt for job. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.